So when you eat, I bet you're not thinking about your inner monitor lizard. But teeth like ours do show up in the fossil record from a time when our ancestors kind of looked like reptiles. Every time you bite into an apple, right, that is a very complex behavior. Our front of our teeth, the incisors, bite into that apple, and they do so in almost a perfect way. The teeth occlude in a very fixed pattern, a very precise pattern. And we can see that pattern emerging 260 million years ago. I'm in a desert called the Karoo in South Africa with fossil hunter Roger Smith. He's found ancient reptile skeletons here that can tell us a lot about where our teeth come from. Roger wants to show me a particularly striking specimen. Ferocious. Look Absolutely. at those teeth. Look at that. Now, this is the Gorgonopsid. These are the carnivores of that time. You know, this is a fossil that when you see it, you know exactly how it lived, what it did, you know. This wasn't right. messing around, this creature. I Absolutely. Mean, it was, yeah. <laughs> it's chewing meat. Yeah. This Gorgonopsid might look a bit like a dinosaur, but its teeth tell a different story. A reptile's jaw typically houses identical, peg-shaped teeth used mainly for tearing food. Gorgonopsid's teeth are much more closely related to yours, mine, and Roger's. Compared to the reptiles before it, there was no differentiation of incisors and canines, but this elongation of the canine is particularly a mammal-like feature. The front teeth were like little needles that came together. Very, very well adapted for flesh tearing. So here you, you start to see differentiation along the tooth row. They're all sort of the same shape, but they're different sizes, specialized mm -hmm. in different ways. Yeah. Gorgonopsids had a virtual Swiss Army knife of teeth. Their giant canines could pierce tough skin. Incisors could strip flesh off a carcass. And compared to most reptiles, they could chew more efficiently. Never before had such menacingly efficient eating machines ruled the land. In time, back teeth also became more specialized. By 200 million years ago, mammal-like reptiles like the trithelodont were also capable of chewing their food. This meant more efficient digestion, which in turn meant more energy to chase prey. And eventually, this specialization led to the crushing molars we see in our own mouths today. <laughs> 